Firebombing gold skeletons is the easiest and fastest way to get rid of a lot of them. You can also use firebombs to increase the rate of killing skeleton captains. The extra DPS will help you kill them extremely fast. Although you can use them to give you a major advantage, bringing kegs on your ship is always dangerous, regardless of where you store them. If you do bring kegs on board, never put them in your crow's nest. If someone does blow up your kegs, when they're in your crow's nest, your mast will go down, and you'll be a sitting duck while they fight you. If you have to bring kegs, I recommend putting them at the end of your bowsprit. You can have extremely good mobility, even on a galleon if you use the harpoons to turn. If a ship is constantly hunting you, even after sinking you the first time, you can change servers but keep your current voyages alive by scuttling and changing seas. You can sell emissary flags to the reaper NPC at the outpost, but many commendations do require you to sell them at the reaper's hideout. If you're sword fighting on a ship and you fail to hit your sword dash, you can grab onto a cannon, a sail control, or anything else to cancel the cooldown animation. The flag of the reaper's mark will show your location to all other crews on the server. Although it is required to fly this flag for some commendations, I can't really recommend flying this to new players. If you get attacked and you think that you're going to sink, but you have some valuable items that you want to keep, you can bury it on whatever island you're at, and you'll get a map of where it is. But make sure to bury it after your ship has already sunk, so that the map will spawn on the new ship and the enemies won't be able to get your maps and steal your treasure. Turning off all the lanterns on your ship can make you more difficult to spot on the horizon, especially at night. I've found that using rarer, harder to earn cosmetics will sometimes cause less players to fight you, because you'll look more experienced. However, this only works if the other player also has knowledge of your rare cosmetics, and what it takes to get them. You can see how many other emissary ships there are of each kind on your server, by counting the wooden boats on the emissary tables where you vote for your own flag. It never hurts to look around your ship and make sure there's no tuckers sneaking around. If you ever want to collect a reaper chest but don't want a marker on you right now, you can always pick it up and bury it at the nearest island for later. This will take the marker off the map and also allow more of them to spawn. You can find random discounted cosmetics at any sea post. If you want to tuck on ships and be sneaky, make sure you're not wearing glowy cosmetics. This will make you infinitely easier to spot. Another tip for being sneaky is to go barefoot. The barefoot walking sound is much quieter than with boots, a peg leg, or the skeleton curse. Using the Rare Thief map will save you a lot of time. Here you can search for islands based on name or shape, and find any information about the island that you could want to know. Holding a sword out when you're in a storm makes lightning more likely to strike you. Using your ship's cannons to defeat bosses will result in extremely high DPS, and secure the kill quickly regardless of what boss it is. Turning on crew status tags will help you work with your crewmates by letting you know what they are already doing without having to go look directly at them. For example, it'll let you know when they're repairing, carrying stuff, or even putting out a fire. You can bail water through any grates on any ship. Fire on ships causes holes to form over time, so you can sink ships with only fire bombs, but it might take a while. Sailing on a captain boat will save you a lot of time selling loot. If you don't have one yet, you can buy one for as little as 250000 in the main menu. And having a captain ship will allow you to sell all of your loot to just one NPC instead of having to run around the island. 